have anything to do with the whole idea of the event. This may or may not have anything to do with the, the Scott Sessions thing, but the, the whole thing is still so sketchy the way it all looked. The trailer and the Arizona plates. All right, the so whole thing. It's just... Oh, how? Yep. Everything's current. Paul Douglas. Yeah. Okay. I figured I'd come in in person rather than try and do this over the phone. It's well, that's usually the way we prefer to do things. Can I get a phone number for you? Yeah. And I work at Office Escapes if you need to know okay. that. It's, and, you know, we do the work here for the furniture in the building. These aren't our chairs, but these are our tables. Sorry. <laughs> we need new chairs. Yeah, well, oh, so we've got lots of these are some of the old original the old ones. ones. Yeah. yeah. Um, so okay. I gathered from our conversation coming down here a little bit that you wanted, um, you you think you might have some information about these sessions. I don't know if it if it is or not. Okay. I don't know. I from what I've heard, they haven't found his car or anything. But okay. So I don't know because it's all hush hush, and this is all stuff that rumors on Facebook, which is. Okay. I don't believe David Lurie. Okay. So, but... Well, b before you get into too much um, detail, um, it'll be just probably less than five minutes before um, my investigator is okay. much more versed on the, the details of the case. Sure, here. sure. Um, so I'd like you to just kind of hang out here for a few okay. minutes. So, because otherwise you're going to tell me and then and we'll tell start over and tell gotcha. somebody else. Um, gotcha. Or something like that. I see you have coffee. You I don't have any more. It's all gone. Um, I, can get you, I can get you some coffee. Good. Yeah, um, just a little sip. Sure. Fine. I'll, uh, I'll go. I, I save those cups here. And just reuse them until they go to crap. So <laughs> I'm going to track down a little bit more coffee. Any sugar? Or anything, or? Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Just well, a couple. Thank you. 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 Thank like the sore on the roof of my mouth. Okay. It's nagging at me. It's bothering me. It's, like, okay. it's just too sketchy for me to let go. So. Well, I understand uh, one of my coworkers already got your information. Mm -hmm. So just tell me why you're here today. Well, okay. So we do a lot of work here. This is our furniture. <laughs> this is our furniture. <laughs> Lieutenant Beeble. Like, okay. He, and he assures me he's not shot a furniture installer in years. And I was like, well, that's comforting. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. So, but we, so I'll just start from the top. We have our office escapes warehouse down there, 4950 South College. We go down to either the Schraders up on the corner there at Harmony or the Schraders down on Carpenter, um, South College. And we'll pick up supplies for the day, smokes and cokes or whatever we're, we're getting and then we go off and do our stuff. So I went in there the other morning and I saw, and this is before I really knew about the Scott Sessions thing, <clears throat> and, and I saw this trailer that I've never seen one so long before in my life. It looked like a 53 foot semi trailer in length, or you know, one of the 42s at least, mm -hmm. only it was in about seven and a half feet high. You know, and being towed by a, a dark color, kind of a goldish brown, um, I believe it was a Chevy, pickup truck with dualies on it and the guy was gassing up and he was parked at the far pump there and the trailer was clear back out into the parking lot and then it had three axles on it in the middle so I didn't even know how you could drive that thing. Three axles in the, uh, on in the trailer? The, yeah, on the trailer, okay. yes, I'm sorry. So, and I'm looking at this thing, like, how do you even get that through a lane, you know? You, if you turn, that back end's gonna come on. It's good, there's two more lanes going, you know? Right. I'm thinking that can't even be legal, but and I was looking at the trailer and looking at it and, you know, I went inside and I came out and he was still gassing up the pickup truck and, and I could see it had the sloped front end on it. So I could see it was Arizona plates on the truck and no markings on the trailer whatsoever. If it was like for a race car, you could fit like two dragsters in that thing, it was so long. And, but no markings whatsoever for like a race car, or no markings for like a carpenter company or anything like that. Just a blank trailer this color. Okay. Um, so I thought, well, that's weird. And I, so I, then the guy was out there gassing up. He had a Calvin Klein sweatshirt on. I saw that clearly. He was 
my height, but pretty big, you know, maybe your height, but burly. And I asked him what's in. What do you got in that thing? You know, being nosy like I am. You know, what do you got in that thing? He said, cars. And he just turned and kept gassing up. You know. And, okay. Well, if it was a car company, you wouldn't have a logo on it. Or if it was a, so right there, it was kind of sketchy. And then over the Facebook, and again, Facebook is full of bullshit. You know. Right. But over at the, they said they're still looking for this Scott Sessions car. And I was thinking, well, and I wake up yesterday and this morning I'm like if his car was in that trailer and I don't report this yeah I'm gonna feel really stupid right now I don't know what the, the I know everything's hush hush about it now, but I knew Scott Sessions he'd been over to our house and and had done some trumpet work he was a musician and I played uh -huh. drums and my friends all play guitars and stuff like that he'd actually I'd met him just several months ago to do a recording with him okay so it really shocked me when I heard all of this was happening and it's kind of you know and even if his car isn't on that trailer that trailer is pretty sketchy right you know so I what gas station you say you were at? at the Schrader's the Shell station on South College and you go down to you know where the Carpenter Road tees mm -hmm. off there that one okay and yeah. what day was it I'm trying to remember if it was Wednesday or Thursday or whatnot okay. and I hadn't even heard about Scott until like Wednesday night, I, I it might have been Tuesday even. Okay. So that trailer's probably in Mexico by now. And um, obviously, but, if we look at security footage Tuesday or Wednesday, Thursday, yeah. it's going to be pretty obvious. Yeah, okay. yeah. If you can get some of it. Now, yeah. I, I, I don't know where the cameras are. I didn't see anything outside. I don't okay. know if they just have them inside or whatnot. But I'm sure it'll, I'll, most all guesses. I, will, I would think so. Yeah. You know, so I would think if you looked at some of that footage. Even if it has nothing to do with this thing, that was a pretty sketchy deal. Yeah. Just that whole trailer thing, no markings whatsoever, Arizona plates on the truck, the guy just says cars, and it was obvious, deep Latino accent, okay. deep. I mean, from way down Mexico or further even. Okay. So. When was the last time you spoke with Scott? Oh, God, on, on Facebook, we did a recording, I'm trying to remember what, on that, there's a big house right off on LeMay, just north of Timberline. Okay. It's a, the guy's got a sweet studio on it. I went in there and I'm like, wow, but the drums, that kind of stuff. <laughs> but, but I should have brought mine, but, but a beautiful house. And we did this big recording in there and took all day. I sat around all day just to do a couple of drum tracks with this friend of mine. I'm like, won't do that again. So, you know, because you, you don't get paid, you know, I make money doing right. office furniture, I just don't even play anymore hardly, okay. just, there's no money in it, you know. Okay. Yeah. How long ago do you think that was? That was in, uh, I want to say December. Okay. I'm trying to remember, I, but, you know, I could probably that's check it out, but, just, was just like and that's when I time. met him, it was during November, and yeah, it was November, because we wanted to go practice on Thanksgiving weekend, I'm like, oh, come on guys. You know, okay. so I have a studio in my basement where I, I rent a basement from my friend at this address, and and we get great rent and money and stuff like that, cheap rent, and so I I can save my money and yeah. do what I need to do. So people like to come over and play down there because we've got everything set up on headphones and everything. It's real nice and real real set up. So he did, he was actually down there and I met him. He's a great guy. Yeah, a real nice guy. And we were, hit it off great, man practiced and did you know and a bunch of people crammed in the little tiny basement you know like, but and that was the first time i met him was several months back so november i'd say other than that um that the trailer and the truck yes. which is thank you for bringing that to our attention we'll look into it I, is there any other information you think you have that might be i important? have no idea why you would i i know it's all hush hush i don't know yeah. where he was found i wasn't even sure it was Lamar county but yeah, I have no idea. The guy was a nice guy. I don't didn't see any enemies or anything like that or anybody that he would be. I don't know. So, okay. Okay. I'm like, well, I appreciate just, you. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate you. The whole in. sketchy thing was just and, uh, I, if I don't record it, it's gonna bother me. Well, here's so, my card. Okay. Um, if for well, some reason something else comes up, yeah, I certainly I, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, because I'd like to see that get taken care of because yeah. he was a great guy. Yeah. yeah. He was just the friendliest, nicest, most fun to be around. Way, way funner than me. <laughs> so, but, but, yeah, so, and it, it just shocked me. Ray Martinez, my bass player friend, called me. 
and told me that it was true. He's he'd been there's a homicide. I don't know what it what it what it involves or anything. I know it's hush hush and it's all. But I just I had to throw that out there. And even if that truck doesn't that, that truck was still pretty sketchy. Right. <laughs> I would you see it run along the border. Right? 